All right, what is the radius of conversion of the power series, the sum, negative one to the n, x to the n, over the square root of n plus three? It's telling us to specifically use the ratio test here. Okay, we're using the ratio test so that we know that this is going to have to be less than negative one. So when the limit of a sub n plus one over n, that absolute value is less than one, then I'm gonna plug in what I know for a sub n. So I know that a sub n is going to be negative one to the n, x to the n, over the square root of n plus three because they gave us that power series in the question. So I'm gonna plug that in here. And if you think about this, this is a lot of algebra. This is a lot of rearrangement. <clears throat> when I'm done with my rearrangement, I end up with the limit as n approaches affinity is the absolute value of x to the n plus one over x to the n times the square root of n plus three over the square root of n plus four. Now, with that x to the n plus 1, I can pull that out front. And I can say, ah, the absolute value of x is equal to the limit here of the square root of n plus 3 to over the square root of n plus 4. When I look at this, this tells me that x is less, the absolute value of x is less than 1, which means r is equal to 1. D is really common to have because this is actually a convergent series um, and it's, er, uh, it's common to have a divergent series as one of the answers.